you need to subscribe to this channel. She puts out some good content. Check out the information that William Barr was talking about when Donald Trump had his daily coronavirus briefing today. It's very important you understand what was being put out. Let me start uh, by thanking uh, you, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, for your uh, decisive leadership in this unprecedented battle to save American lives. The Department of Justice, we're working hard to protect the health and safety of our personnel while at the same time uh, keeping our enforcement efforts at full throttle. Uh, so I'd like to thank all of my colleagues in law enforcement, not just those at the federal level, uh, of all our state and local partners, the police officers, the sheriff's deputies who are protecting and serving their communities, often at, at great risk to themselves. What I'd like to do here is start with a few remarks about the order that the president mentioned to ensure the availability of critical medical uh, and health supplies from hoarding and price gouging. On March 18th, the president issued Executive Order 13909 invoking the Defense Production Act with respect to the health and medical resources needed to respond to the spread of COVID-19, including PPE and ventilators. We have started to see some evidence of potential hoarding and price gouging. And so earlier today, the president signed a second executive order providing the authority to address, if it becomes necessary, hoarding that threatens the supply of those necessary health and medical resources. Under Section 102 of the Defense Production Act, the President is authorized to prohibit the hoarding of needed resources by designating those materials as scarce or as materials whose supply would be threatened by persons accumulating ex ex excessive amounts. How does Facebook conveniently get a half a million masks? Were they in the process of selling some? Or they just conveniently bought any? Multiple stores have been price gouging and hoarding for such disaster. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Costco, Walmart, Walgreens. I don't have to keep going. Folks, you need to get this out there. They will pay for their crimes. Don't worry. And I will see you in the next video.